Hello, I'm Jarmo, and this setup is my home cockpit. Or virtual cockpit, or simulation cockpit, or just simpit. In other words, it's a setup to play simulators for people who get far carried away with stuff, like me. This setup has been built by me from the scratch, and since everyone is always asking, the materials ended up costing me around 800 euros. This video will be an overview from Star Citizen's perspective. I use it to play other games too, like DCS and Flight Simulator, but those are topics for later videos. Oh, and if you're new to Star Citizen, you can use my referral code when registering for the game to get some extra credits for the beginning. It's in the description. As I mentioned, the whole setup was built by me, mostly from plywood to replace my previous cockpit. It's sturdy, easily accessible and also modular. I'll show you that bit later in the video. The chair is an old Volvo seat that moves back and forth on casters so I can easily pull myself in and lock it in place. For the main displays I'm using 32 inch Samsung G5s. Bottom display is for gauges and MFDs and while it's not that useful for Star Citizen currently, it's really great for DCS and Flight Simulator. And the displays are mounted on somewhat modified triple display stand. I mostly use purple and DIY stuff as controllers with Thrustmaster pedals. Later I'll probably get some Horton specific gear for DCS. And there's also a track IR5 sensor on top of the middle display for head tracking. For my right hand I have Constellation Alpha and control panel number one. The right joystick controls pitch and roll and for yaw I use my pedals. Okay, I just wanted to mention one thing. I know that these bindings are not the most competitive for space simulators, but I currently have two small children, wife, career, I build this stuff, I make these videos. I never would have time to practice to become actually good PvPer. Instead, I just want to set up that's fun to build and offers amazing experience when I just happen to have some time for gaming. And on my left side, I have Constellation Delta with horizontal adapter, older Mongoose GM throttle, and control panel number two. This setup is called Hoses, aka Hands on Stick and Stick, which has been growing in popularity in for space sims. The left joystick controls movement to all directions, back and forward, left and right, and up and down with the twist axis. The angle joystick makes this feel more natural. Turtle is there just as an extra, but I can chase it into Hotus, hands on turtle and stick, quickly to play flight simulators with the setup. And from this we get to modularity and DIY stuff. Outermost angled panels are a permanent part of the setup. On the left side I have a stream deck and on the right side a panel to control the cockpit lighting. As with the rest of the panels, it's printed from white PLA with 3D printer, painted black and the markings are engraved with laser engraver. This allows for the LEDs to light up the markings. Cockpit lighting is powered by a computer PSU. I can access the inside from these maintenance hatches and for more major changes I could also move the cabinets away. The inner panels are modular. I can just take the panel off, switch it into something else, plug in USB and lighting power cable and I'm good to go. I'm planning to use this at least to build Hornet controls for DCS in the future. Also, this panel's housing verbal control panel comes off, as does the display frame so I can build different overlays for different games. And then the mouse and keyboard gameplay. This is actually quite versatile setup. The keyboard and the mouse are mounted on old monitor arms and I can just take them off. For light Star Citizen on foot gameplay, like just moving to my ship, I can use this trackball. If I know I'll be doing more FPS gameplay, I can take this Razer Tartarus V2 and drop in a separate mouse tray on the mounting points. And later I'm going to build a large, larger tray to be used both for keyboard and mouse. And nothing really prevents me from lowering the seat into a more comfortable position and playing other games with a controller. And the last thing, the top display is connected into old computer. I use it mostly for Discord and to record my gameplay with OBS. Or pros the intern while in quantum. My headphones are connected to both computers at the same time and my keyboard can switch quickly between USB and the toggle and for mouse I'm using a small trackball. As I've mentioned before, I just want a setup that's fun to build and fun to play games with. And there's one really important thing to notice. Building this stuff is basically as important part of my hobby as is playing games with it. And that's actually one of the reasons why I'm not using VR. I want to have this everything around me. 
And naturally this sort of setup is never truly ready. This is just the beginning and I'm going to build lots of interesting stuff for the setup in the future. So if you want to see what upgrade projects I come up with or just to want to see the setup in action, don't forget to subscribe. And see you next time.